Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to TSK Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.20. Alright, so in this episode we're going to add gun bob to the gun. So the up and down and left to right movement, the exact same way that we added head bob to the character. So we want the gun to go up and down and left to right to make it look like it actually has some weight to it. Alright, so to do this we're actually going to use the exact same sine and cosine equations that we used in our last episode to add head bob to the character. We're even going to use the exact same step counter that we used on the camera script. We're going to go from the gun script and we're actually going to access the step counter right out of the camera script because the camera script's already keeping track of that. And then we're going to just copy and paste the sine and cosine equations and then apply a unique um, amount for the left and right and up and down so we can adjust how much the gun moves and make it unique to each different gun. So the only difference between the uh, gun bob and the head bob is that the gun bob, the gun doesn't actually have a local position. It's going to be its own game object that floats around and is actually coded to follow the camera and move with it accordingly. So we need to add to this equation that we already have and we need to create two, uh, two variables and that is, I believe I called it current x gun bob and current y gun bob, something like that, so that the gun knows relative, it has a number relative how much it should be moving next to the camera. Alright, so let me pull up the script and actually show you how we're going to be doing this. Alright, so today we're going to be working all inside of the gun script and we only have four variables. Uh, the first or the first two are gun bob, gun bob amount x and gun bob amount y. So this is pretty easy to understand. This is just the amount that's going to go x side to side and y up and down so that we can control how much they're going to go side to side and up and down depending on the gun whether we want it to look heavier or lighter all right next we have current gun bob uh, x and current gun bob y so these are the two numbers that we need to keep track of so that we can tell um, or so that we can add to it the equation of where the gun should be with inside of the world we're just going to add these two variables inside of that really long equation that we already have so that the gun goes side to side and up and down according to where it is in that sine and cosine equation alright so here's the script that we're going to be adding to the uh, gun script um, and actually this line of code is actually a line of code that we already have in place and we're just going to be adding the current gun bob x and current gun bob y into it so that we can apply that side to side and up and down movement and to declare the current gun bob x and current gun bob y we're going to be using these two equations which are literally copy and pasted right outside of the uh, mouse look script all right so the first line of code we have is current gun bob x equals math f sign and then we are going to access the uh, step counter out of the mouse look script. So that is this whole thing here. So we have camera object dot get component mouse look script head bob step counter. So camera object is a variable that we already have inside of the gun script. And this is a variable that we save so that we can just quickly access the camera object anytime we want. And then we are getting the component mouse look script which is the script that uh, controls everything about the camera um, and then we're accessing the variable head bob step counter and this is the number that keeps on counting up and up and up as our character actually walks in any direction all right so now that we have the head bob step counter and we're applying it to math f dot sign we're going to multiply that by gun bob amount x and ratio hip hold because we don't want the gun to bob um, when we're actually aiming. We want it to hold still. So ratio hip hold, um, one is when it's at your side and zero is when it's in the center of the screen. So when we multiply this whole thing by zero, it's just not gonna matter and the gun's gonna center in on the screen. Um, but when it's set to one, uh, this whole variable is going to be, or this whole equation is going to be multiplied by that and be the same as it was before it was multiplied by one. All right, now we have practically the same line of code uh, down here for current gun bob y. We just have current gun bob y equals math f dot sign. Actually, that's supposed to be cosine. I don't know why I messed that up. Let me change that real quick. All right, so math f dot cosine camera object dot get component mouse look script head bob counter times two. So literally the exact same thing as we have up here, except we're multiplying it by two because we want it to go up and down twice as much as it goes side to side. And then we're multiplying that by gun bob amount y and ratio hip hold, just like we did the other equation, because when we're aiming, we don't want any gun bob because we want to get some accurate shooting. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the two equations and the two lines of code that we need to have in place to actually uh, find the variable of where the gun needs to be relative to uh, its position, uh, left and right and up and down for the gun bob only. So now let's actually add those two variables inside of this really, really long equation that we already have in place. It's really simple. We just need to add it inside of a vector three and I'm gonna show you where that is. All right, so let me step off the green screen so I don't stand in front of any of this code. All right, so this is the line of code that just determines where in the world we want our gun object to be. And where we want to add the uh, current gun bob x is inside of this vector 3 right here. Let me highlight it all. Okay. So we have hold side times ratio hip hold. So this is determining the X position of our gun based on um, whether or not we are aiming. And then we're just going to simply add to that current gun bob X. And then on the Y axis, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We have hold height times ratio hip hold, and we're just adding current gun bob Y. So we just need to add current gun bob X and current gun bob Y in those, uh, particular places and that will add the left and right and up and down movement to our code. So yeah, that's all you need to do to add gun bob. Uh, so let's cut the green screen and go into Unity and show you how to do that inside of Unity. All right, here we are inside of Unity and let's just do a quick preview of what the game looks like without gun bob. So it looks like the gun is literally like glued to the player's head or something. It's just moving perfectly with the camera and it looks like it has absolutely no weight to it. So let's add some code to make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna open up the gun script. Yep, we're inside of the gun script and let's first of all add our variables. So the first one was gun bob amount x float and let's ballpark that at 0 0.5 amount, whoops. What am I doing? Mount y float equals 0 0.5. We're going to change those values later to make it actually look good. And let's do current gun bob x float. And we don't need to assign a value to that because we know that we want to start at 0. Or actually, no, it doesn't matter where it starts because every single frame, we're going to give it a whole new value. So current gun bob y float. Okay, so now we have all our variables in place. And let's uh, actually declare what we want the current gun bob x and y to be. So current gun bob x equal math, oops, math f dot sign and we just want to do uh, the camera object. Camera object is what we called it, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So camera object dot get component mouse look script, not mouse cursor, look script dot and I can't remember what I called it. So let me oops, go. Where did I save it? OK, let's see. Current head bob step counter. I'm just going to be lazy and copy and paste that. Head bob step counter. And we're going to multiply that by gun bob amount x times ratio hip hold and I believe that is everything we need for current gun bob x and let's be lazy and copy and paste that whole thing for current gun bob y so let me make things look a little neater and cleaner here okay so first things first let's change it from x to y and let's change this to cosine and let's multiply this by 2 and change this 
to Y and let me run over to text edit and make sure I did all that right yep okay so now let's go back into mono develop all right now we have our two variables current gun Bob X and current gun Bob Y uh, so these are going to get a new value every single frame because we have equal not plus equal or anything like that so these two are going to have a new value every frame so we need to add that value to this line of code here this really really long line of code that determines the position of our gun and we want to put it right alongside of hold side and hold height so we're just going to write plus uh, current gun Bob X and in the Y parameter plus current gun Bob Y and let's save that and see how it looks in our game it looks like it is working but it is way too much so let's change it let's try point one on both of these and see if that looks a little better it's still a little bit much I'd rather have more side to side movement than up and down so I'm gonna change this to zero five Did I change the wrong one? I did change the wrong one. I wanted it to move side to side more than it moves up and down. So let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. But I'd rather have the gun bob movement make more of a U shape than an N shape. I just think a little bit more of a swishing motion would look a little bit better than that more I don't know it has right now it has like an arc I'd rather have like a swish like it's heavy every time you take a step it goes down so I'm gonna go into the gun script and right here I'm just going to multiply it by negative one so now let's see if that looks just a little better yeah that feels like the guns heavy so it sways from side to side and it has some weight to it every time you take a step. So one other thing I want to point out inside of the mouse look script that I didn't get around to last episode. Where did I put it? Um, and Bob amount Y times one. Um, so I've multiplied it by one instead of negative one so let me show you what it looks like when I multiply it by negative one it should be a really really subtle difference see now the camera has more of a swishing motion and it looks more like your head has some weight to it which might not necessarily be a bad thing it might be something that you want but I particularly think it looks better as more of an N shape than a U shape. So I'm going to just delete that out of there because multiplying anything by one is the same thing as doing nothing. So multiplying something by one just leaves it the same. So I'm going to just let it be as it is. So now the gun and the head actually have a little bit of an opposite movement. And I think that looks a little bit more realistic and like you're actually walking so yeah, that's how to add gun bob to your character. So this has been ET Ski Tutorials FPS 1.20. Stay tuned for the next episode. Keep making games.